In this video, we're going to be looking at overlaying sound effects to play during our podcast. Now, this audio track here that you can see is the audio track that contains my speech or my narration. So, first things first, what we might want to do is just to make sure that this starts at the right time. So, if you've got a lot of silence, if I just press rewind, go back to the very beginning, and press play. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Basic you'll see that I've actually got about a second of silence. Now, that's not actually too bad, really, but I'm going to show you how to delete it just in case. So say you want it to start immediately as you start talking. All you need to do is go up here to the selection tool, which looks like a cursor, and you simply click and drag over the parts that you don't want. And then you simply press the delete key on the keyboard. Not backspace, but the delete key. So I press delete and it's gone. So if I press play now, hello everyone and welcome. It kicks straight into the into the speech. So you can do that if you want and you can do that for almost any part of the audio that you want to delete. So the next important thing we're going to do, I'm just gonna undo that by pressing control and Z. And you can do that at any time to undo anything you've done. And what I want to do, I'm going to go to File and Import Audio, where I'm going to actually select my radio jingle, which is going to play before I actually start speaking on the podcast. So I choose Audio. And this folder here with the sound effects in, I'll just show you where that is. It's Computer and Pupil Shared. ICT, we'll scroll down to ICT double click on there and year seven and in there is a podcast sound effects folder which contains a sound effects file and we've got um, all of these different sounds but I'm going to choose radio jingle sample and what it does is it overlays it beneath my speech here so if I press play I will be telling you about sound but not all the hard way to now we can see there's a few problems there. One, I don't want to be talking over the top of the radio jingle. Two, if I was to do that, you can see that you can't really hear my voice over the top because the music's too loud. And we can see how loud it is by the length of the sound waves here. They're quite long. Whereas for quieter sounds, you can see the sound waves are shorter. So what I need to do is I want the radio jingle to play first, and then I want the audio to start afterwards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my speech audio track and I'm going to choose this tool up here, which is the time shift tool. It's the double-ended arrow. When I click on that and I click and hold on my speech track and I'm just going to drag it so that it just about is in line here. Now, I'm actually going to do it a little bit just before the end because I'm actually going to fade this music out and so that my speech starts nicely while there's just a bit of quiet music in the background. And I'll be showing you how to do that in the next video, so fading in and fading out audio.